Well, I've got the solid silver remote key. Now I'm going to get in the Kenner's Egg Agera N and fire up this 1,140 brake horsepower car. Today we're here at 50 Supercars in Bradford on Avon to showcase this stunning 2011 3 million pound one of one Koenigsegg Agera N. Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. The Koenigsegg Agera was in production from 2010 to 2018 and only 58 models were ever made, so this is a very rare car. Top Gear magazine voted the Agera best hypercar in 2010 and you can certainly understand why. I mean, just look at it. The Agera succeeds the CCX and CCXR and is itself succeeded by the Koenigsegg Yesco. Agera means to act. And the owner that purchased this car in 2015 from Super Ventura certainly did that. He sent this car back to its original factory in Angelholm, Sweden, to have it fully customised to his bespoke requirements. We'll do a walk around a little bit later of the exterior of the car, which will go through all the bespoke customization that this car has. But just to pick up on a few of those key items, the headlights were changed to the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 Agera RS headlights. The door mirrors were changed to the Koenigsegg one-to-one -one door mirrors and the rear wing was added, which is an Agera RS rear wing. Now that's just a few of the items. The car is just a bespoke build. These cars are just one of ones anyway. But this car itself became then the Agera N because following that customization project with that new owner, this car was then named the Agera N with the N being one of the initials of that new owner's name. And of course, the car branding was changed to incorporate that new naming convention. So the car, all the, all the car labels and signatures, etc., were all put on the car, a Gera N. Now, we, we can't go any further without me talking about this bespoke wrap on this car. This is a wallpaper design, and this was designed in collaboration with a company called Divine Savages. Divine Savages designed this wallpaper and it is marketed and sold as a luxury wallpaper for a company called Always Sunday House. So if you want some luxury wallpaper with this design, get yourself across to Always Sunday House where you can get this wallpaper. And no, I'm not being paid to say that. That's just because that's relatable to this particular design of this wrap. And this wrap was fitted by Yanomize. There's a video online if you want to see the fitting of this wrap to this particular one of one Koenigsegg Agera N. Now we're going to move to the engine compartment, we're going to showcase the engine. You will not believe how custom this engine compartment is. Now, first of all, to gain access to the engine compartment, we have to open up this whole rear clamshell. And we do that by accessing the clamshell opening lever by opening this beautiful dihedral door. And there's a lock button here or an unlock button here that you press and that lowers the window and then you can open the door. So you hold that button while you then lift up the door and then the door opens 
on this incredible dihedral hinging system. And if you look through here, you can see this stunning dihedral hinge mechanism. Very, very bespoke and it enables the door to open, come out a little bit and then hinge up. And this door is beautiful, full carbon fiber. As you'd expect, this is all very bespoke Kerner's egg. How this lever is attached to this carbon fiber, just stunning, absolutely beautiful. The carbon monocoque here, as you can see, all carbon fiber. Quite a thick monocoque to have to step across as well. To gain access to the engine compartment, you've got this quite heavy set lever here, which releases the engine compartment. And then from there, this is quite heavy. So I have to lift it evenly on each side, and it's quite a weight, even for me. And this is, even though this is all carbon fiber, I'm just being extremely careful as well, of course, because it's such a high value car. It's got gas struts here, which hold the weight up, so they're not gonna drop. But obviously I'm just being very, very careful just to make sure nothing happens on my watch, because this is such a valuable car. And there it is, there's the engine. Now, on initial looks, it looks like the engine is transverse mounted, but I'm pretty sure the engine is longitudinally mounted. It just goes deep into the underneath of the car. So the engine block is there. This is the differential because that's where the axle is. So that has to be the differential. And it looks like this is the gearbox behind the differential. So most of the weight is forward. Therefore, it's obviously a mid-engined hypercar. This is a five liter twin turbo V8 pushing out 947 brake horsepower, but it can be tuned up to its highest tune to 1,140 brake horsepower. Imagine that. And this is 811 pound foot of torque. Imagine trying to put that torque down onto the road. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. This power performance, this power specification will rocket this car from 0 to 62 in 2.8 seconds and will take this car up to around 249 miles per hour. Can you imagine doing 249 miles per hour in this bespoke hypercar? Incredible. It's very, very hard to visualize. Just picking out a few of the things here in the customization build of this engine compartment. Looks like you've got an intercooler there for the turbos on the right hand side. And this is all handmade out of this billeted aluminium, beautifully made. And you've got Olin's bespoke race shock absorbers. You've got ducting, big, wide, thick ducting to cool the brakes there on both sides. You've got this carbon fiber bracing, or it actually might be aluminum bracing or stainless steel bracing to give rigidity in the engine compartment. So you've got all this cross bracing configuration. On the left hand side, it looks like you've got a radiator cooling there for the engine to cool the engine. And center, you've got the Christian von Koenigsegg shield here. And that ties in beautifully with the key. Look at that. And I believe that key is made out of solid silver. And it fills it, so that's solid silver. But it's a three million pound car, so I guess having a solid silver key is neither here nor there. Now moving to the interior of this Agera N. It's like you have to hold the button and let it double unlock on the doors, otherwise it just won't take the second latch off. Just being very careful when opening these doors. Full carbon fiber doors with this beautiful lever connectivity here, yellow offset stitching, which ties in nicely with the original triple layer pearlescent paintwork, which is the original custom paintwork that's underneath this Divine Savages designed wrap. Moving to the interior, as you'd expect with Kerner's egg, you've got this carbon fiber monocoque which is provides a very wide seal that you've got to step across to get into the car you've got these quite thin seats as well when you compare these seats to like the large Ferrari carbon race race seats these are quite thin in comparison we'll have a sit in it in a minute so we'll gain an appreciation of how much room we've actually got in there you can see this is just a plethora of bespoke design beautiful leather handmade leather all hand designed very very bespoke all this aluminium all this aluminium switch gear and the aluminium vents and aluminium center console with this aluminium center 
control mechanism there very very cool and you've got your <laughs> you've got your cup holder there in the center and because you haven't got any particular um gear lever or anything there because obviously it's a twin plate clutch then you don't have that situation where you've got a gear lever that you've got to move in and out from and this has a gearbox a, a seven speed dual clutch gearbox that was provided and designed by CIMA c-i-m-a very bespoke for this particular car obviously because of it having to deal with the sort of power and brake horsepower that this has you know 947 brake horsepower in its standard guys fully tuned up to 1140 brake horsepower and 811 pound foot of torque and it's mostly that 811 pound foot of torque that these gearboxes have to deal with you know it would just it would just break the gearbox usually but that sort of torque if, you, if you're trying to use a normal seven speed dual clutch gearbox you can see here as well in these door shuts uh, the palescent the triple layer palescent paint which is carried on in as an inlay here um, which separates away from this divine savages wrap beautiful and this obviously is a targa as well so part of the design of this agera is that you can remove this top so this top can be removed and i believe it's stowed in the front compartment section of the car if you're enjoying the video so far then please give the video a like very important for our channel and if you like our style of content then please think about subscribing now back to the video you've got a hidden lever down here which you pull, which provides access to the front compartment. Then you've got a release catch on the right hand side. Now this is quite heavy again, even though it's solid carbon fiber. You're pushing against the resistance of these holding struts. And these holding struts are a little bit weak on this front. So I'm gonna be very careful and make sure I've got my arms there just to stabilize it a bit. Again, all very bespoke underneath this front compartment. All of this, because the whole car is in carbon fiber, you've got this bespoke milleted cover here, washer fluid, washer fluid container knob. And here you've got your tool kit. So this is what latches this down. You open this up, you've got your tool kit, which isn't much of a tool kit, your tow hitch, and you've got this lovely tire pressure gauge which is in solid billet aluminium. It looks like that's a, a bespoke design as well, probably specially made for Koenigsegg. And of course, again, you've got the Christian von Koenigsegg shield here again on top of this cover for the toolkit. Beautiful design, but no luggage space. I mean, you, I, I guess you can fit some luggage in some places here, but in general, you know you haven't because the way this closes down these parts fit in between this section so you'll maybe have a little bit of luggage space here but you know pretty much non-existent but then you don't buy a Koenigsegg N for its luggage space if you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection rich reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar we have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. So we're just going to do a quick walk around of the car now with the options list for this Aguera. And this options list is extensive. So there's no way I'm going to be able to memorize all of this. It's all bespoke items for this particular Aguera N. So I'm going to just talk you through some of these because otherwise you're going to get bored to tears. So bespoke customer specified paintwork, pleasant white with visible carbon fiber details and bespoke blue and yellow striping. So you've got this bespoke striping in the car. And of course, this yellow and blue striping interior, which is carried forward into the interior cabin of the car and this yellow stitching as well. Aguera R rear wing. So we already mentioned this earlier. So it's got the Aguera R rear wing on there. It's got Koenigsegg air core carbon fiber wheels. So these are the air core bespoke carbon fiber wheels that I was talking about before. If you catch these, I believe these are about a hundred thousand pound option. These air core wheels, it was hundred thousand pounds for a set of wheels. You catch them on a curb, imagine. It's got um, Koenigsegg air core carbon fiber steering wheel. So the steering wheel again is bespoke on the interior. 
It's an air core carbon fiber steering wheel. Front carbon fiber winglets on the front uh, bumper. So these sections in the front, I believe, all these winglets here, they're all carbon fiber. So that's an, again, an additional option. Visible carbon fiber front and side splitters. Black hide interior with carbon fiber inserts and contrast yellow stitching. So that's on the interior. As you can see here, we've got the Koenigsegg emblem stitched, embroidered into the seats, which looks absolutely beautiful. It really is stark. You can see here, it's really stark against the contrast of the black leather. As we did before, it's got the Inconel sports exhaust, silver Koenigsegg emblem remote key in solid silver, as we talked about before. It's got a detachable hard top, as I mentioned when we dealt with the interior. So all this roof mechanism, this all comes off and is stowed away. Hydraulic lift system. I think that's the section that I alluded to when we had the engine compartment open. You can see the hydraulic system there that seemed to be used for lifting the whole of the car up or maybe just the actual front of the car. The seven speed dual clutch paddle shift gearbox. Bespoke Aguera N badging, which is down here. And this, again, this N associates with the initial of the owner who owned the car at that particular time, who had the car sent back to Angelhorn in Sweden for all the custom work. Gearbox has a TCM update, an updated transmission control unit and clutch release bearing. Updated gearbox management system, updated engine management with second clutch connected, carbon fiber Aguera front winglets, rear view camera. So this car has a rear view camera. Not sure where that's actually located. Might be incorporated into here somewhere, but it's got a rear view camera somewhere. And that's got to be optioned. Brake calibers painted in yellow. And this is the labeling. This is the naming painted in yellow. As you can see, this is all like etched thickly into the aluminium of the, of the brake color purse. 2015 exhaust outlet with customer Aguera N logo and modified Inconel muffler. So that's this with the Aguera N logo. So this is a single billet of aluminium again, beautifully designed and beautifully made. Center dash panel reupholstered. So all the center dash has been reupholstered in this beautiful leather with the yellow piping going around the external, which provides a lovely contrast against the black interior. Interior seats have been fully reupholstered. So in effect, the whole interior has been reupholstered and redesigned and up updated in line with the Aguera N bespoke requirements for that particular customer. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. What I'm gonna do now is just show you getting inside the car. Now, I've never got inside this car before. So you, you're gonna see firsthand, the first time, me getting inside an Aguera N. I don't even know how to start. <laughs> so the obvious thing is, as with all these cars, you step over as far as you can deep inside you sit yourself on the sill you have to get your your leg inside the car and swivel in drop into the seat and get your leg in and that's it i'm in and i talked earlier about these seats being quite slim when you compare them to ferrari large race seats they're actually very very good they they support me very well so they're not too slim they fit me very very well they hug my kidneys very well and it's a great driving position i can see everything out the front obviously from the a pillars forward the visibility is great um, let's just see what the door what it's like with the door closed you feel definitely enclosed in here it's it's a, you know if you suffer from claustrophobia then i think you'd have a problem but you can see good visibility. So from the A pillars to the B pillars, you've got good visibility through the side window. Considering this is a hypercar, this is a one-off hypercar, you've got good visibility through this section, but it's not very deep. Well, it's quite deep, but it's at such a rake that you, it minimizes the actual width of the visibility area that you can look through. But you still have good visibility through there. And you've got this top glass panoramic, like panoramic roof section 
through in this hard top and which you can remove and there's got latch mechanisms here that enable you to remove this roof mechanism which i presume you use a special kind of a key to unlatch this roof and then stow it away somewhere and this is all beautifully designed in this level with yellow diamond offset stitching on the roof panel seats very very comfortable as you can imagine though i'm taking up more than half of the compartment here in the car so if my son was here as well we'd be rubbing shoulders and you could be rubbing shoulders doing 245 miles an hour <laughs> it's crazy the design of the dashboard is phenomenal you've got this easy access section in between this steering wheel where you can see all the dashes i've just switched all the dash mechanism on you push this middle button to turn the system on and i didn't push the brake because i don't want the car to start but see you, you've got all the different controls here that have now lit up in this all beautiful custom billet aluminium center console and we have all this lovely blue edge lighting it's almost like a neon but a very classy neon lighting stunning and then this this center console this electronic touch screen um and this electric uh, this electronic touch screen which you know again it's a touch screen system they even have them on Kona's eggs ladies and gentlemen but this provides all your touch screen capability that you want with all your ability to change the options just looking here now you've got this beautiful designed dashboard and you've got this cutaway in this lovely steering wheel and these paddle shifts are attached to the steering wheel so they move the steering wheel but these are beautifully made in this billet aluminium and you've got this stalk here which i presume is for the headlight system or for the wipers probably and this is all in bespoke billet aluminium as is the indicator stalk which is all in bespoke billet aluminium as well beautifully designed in fact this is for the headlights so this must be yeah this is for the wipers and this is for the headlights i believe this is for the infotainment system so you've got your volume up and down here for the infotainment system and then you believe you've got your indicators yep on your left and look, listen to that beep even that is bespoke the left and right indicators and the dash is all electronic which really surprises me i expected them to have at least an analog rev gauge but they haven't um they're not even the tachometer is analog everything is electronic i'm not so sure if i like that or not but it's certainly bespoke certainly unique and that would have been designed bespoke specifically for Koenigsegg again the Koenigsegg shield there in the dashboard section so that's it. Really hope you've enjoyed our showcase of the Koenigsegg Agera N. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.